Here are 14 logical puzzles that everyone should be able to solve. Here are some riddles to exercise your brain and test how well you can handle stress. Although you may never have to answer these in real life, who knows? Please share this video with your friends. Can they figure out the answers? Puzzle number 14. A man lives on the 17th floor. He only rides the elevator to his own floor when it's raining outside or when one of his neighbors rides it with him. If the weather is sunny or he's alone in the elevator, he only rides as far as the ninth floor and goes the rest of the way up the stairs. Why? The answer is clear. This man is very short. He can only reach button 17 in the elevator with an umbrella or with the help of a neighbor. Puzzle number 13. If it is raining at 12 o'clock a.m., could you expect sunny weather in 72 hours? Curious to know the answer? No, you can't expect sunny weather because it will be night again in 72 hours and there can be no sun in the sky. Puzzle number 12. Several people were asked to jump over a pencil that was placed on the floor, but none of them could do it. Why? Here is the answer. The pencil was placed next to a wall. Puzzle number 11. How should you throw a tennis ball for it to fly back to you? Have you figured out the answer? It's easy. Throw a tennis ball upwards. Puzzle number 10. You see a girl sitting, but you can't sit in her place, even if she stands up and leaves. Where is she sitting? She is sitting on your lap. Puzzle number 9. A man was tossing and turning in bed and couldn't fall asleep. Then he took his phone, dialed a number, listened to a few long tones, put down the phone and finally went to sleep. Why wasn't he able to do that before? Here's the answer. His next door neighbor was snoring loudly, but awoke to the ring of his phone. Puzzle number eight. A hotel has seven floors. There are four people on the ground floor and each floor has two more people on it than the previous one, which floor calls the elevator most often. Do you have any idea yet? The ground floor. Puzzle number seven. In Africa, Nike has encountered a problem. A lot of their sneakers were stolen from the factory. What did the company do to prevent theft without spending money on security? Nike built another factory and then began manufacturing left and right sneakers separately. Puzzle number six. Now try to figure this one out. When do we look at the number two, but say 10? The answer is obvious, when we look at an analog watch. Puzzle number five. George Washington, Sherlock Holmes, William Shakespeare, Ludwig von Beethoven, Napoleon Bonaparte, and Nero, who was significantly different from all the rest. Of course, it's Sherlock Holmes because he is the only fictional character. Puzzle number four. Little patients of a children's hospital love to play with adorable teddy bears that the administration gave them. These kids liked the toys so much that they often took them home. How did the hospital administration resolve this issue? The solution was really thoughtful. All the bears were bandaged and the kids were told that the toys should stay at the hospital to get better. Puzzle number three. At the dawn of cinema, one American movie theater's profits began to go south. The viewers were annoyed with the ladies who didn't take off their hats in the auditorium, blocking the view of the screen. What was the cheap and effective solution by the theater administration? Here's the answer. They posted a notice on the door of the theater saying, we kindly request that all ladies take off their hats during the movie. This does not apply to old ladies. Puzzle number two. There are two books on the same shelf in a scientist's cabinet. One book has 230 pages. The other one has 325 pages. How many pages are there between the first page of the first book and the last page of the second book?
Any idea? There are only the covers of the two books between these pages. And finally, puzzle number one. The last one is easy. Look carefully at this picture. Who will be knocked off? Here is the answer. D will be hit on the head by the rolling ball. C will be smashed by the spikes when that same ball rolls onto the swing and B will be hit in turn by the counterweight ball thrown up and forward by the swing. So were you able to solve them all? Tell us in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. If you're visiting our channel for the first time, click subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for more such videos.